keep an eye on the race with Paul Tracy in the lead. 83 laps of the 103 lap schedule distance complete. And the intervals behind the leader with Emerson Fittipaldi laying back almost six seconds from Paul Tracy. And we ride on board with Danny Sullivan currently in third place. Again, a circuit totally lined with concrete barriers and one which causes the driver to be so very careful. The lap leaders thus far today, well, they all belong to Roger Penske's team. Fittipaldi took the early lead as the pole sitter, then Paul Tracy took over, then back to Fittipaldi, then Paul Tracy, and then, of course, Paul Tracy continues his lead here in Canada at Toronto's exhibition place. Interesting to see a race which does not mention Nigel Mansell among the leaders, and it focuses attention on the fact that it is very rare in this series now that a driver breaks down, that a car breaks down in the race, uh, and, and you must earn your positions by speed on the track. Ten years ago, about of the cars would break down in the races. Now it's a very small percentage. Big difference in the way racing is conducted. Emerson Fittipaldi, he runs in second place. That bright yellow car just behind him is Jimmy Vassar, who has Ford Cosworth power for the first time this weekend. And as he starts to get more improved equipment, Jimmy Vassar is definitely going to be a factor to contend with. Gonna take him just a little bit to get used to the Ford engine. Has a lot more bottom end power, and we know that it has a lot of top end power compared to the A engine they've been using previously. Bobby Rahal in fourth place continues his pursuit of Danny Sullivan, closes in nice and tight. Keep it 